Hmm. Every time. <laughs> you always catch me with food, even though I plan it and edit the video and film it. But, yeah. That's my intro. <laughs> What's up, guys? Lewis back with another video. Let me sort this hair out again. That's better. So, today we're just going to go into obviously what you've read on the title. I'm not going to mess about for a long intro, so let's just do this video. <laughs> So we're gonna go into Lightroom. So from this bit, all you're gonna see on the left side is you've got navigator presets. You've got the tab here as well. So when you're navigating and you wanna obviously look around close, you can just use that or you can just click and hold and drag where you wanna go. So to zoom in, you just click once and then just zoom out. So I'm not gonna use that for now. So left side presets, all you're gonna do here is click the plus input preset. Obviously I'm gonna plug my website. So links in the description, I've just un um, released well, I'll say just a few weeks ago. These are five presets that you can use in the daytime for your car shots. Again, all these presets are gonna be um, compatible with Lightroom CC, Lightroom Mobile, and Adobe Camera Raw, Photoshop. It's all in there, all the files are in there, so it's, you're literally covered for anything. And that's why I made them very compatible. Took a long time to make, but that's what you need, so. So you'd click and drag, select all these files, you'd press import, but I've already done that, so I'm gonna press cancel. All you do from here, you'd have your presets up here. You're gonna go through and see which one is relatively close to what you want the shot to look like, see which one works. Again, all presets can be adjusted. So for example, if that shot looks like it's just terrible, which it kind of is not right now because it's way too yellow, all you're gonna do is go to the hue and you'll kind of sort out the colors. So obviously, the yellow might be a little bit too much, so we're just going to mess around with some of the colours, saturation, the greens are a bit too much, bring the yellows down maybe, maybe boost the oranges, bring the highlights down, maybe the exposure is a bit too high for this shot for what we need. Um, we're going to kind of mess about with the settings, bring the clarity up a little bit. I've been messing around with minus clarity at the minute instead of plus, um, like a nice soft sort of shot. So you kind of play around with the settings, you kind of adjust accordingly as well. You kind of see how you get on with certain shots. Again, everything's adjustable, especially if it's raw. Let's go with Lambo vibes, I like this one. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna mess about with it. We'll bring the shadows up, the exposure up a little bit. The greens are a little bit too strong, so let's bring the greens down and the yellows. Maybe oranges a little bit. So I'm just going to play with the settings. The blue's a little bit too strong because the car is Nardo grey. So we're going to bring the saturation of the blue completely down, not maybe not too much. So again, just playing with the settings. We'll go minus five for clarity, but we'll make sure the sharpening is there. Make sure the masking is relatively there. <clears throat> so again, we're just kind of playing with the settings, bit of a moody look. Maybe we'll boost a bit of contrast, minus five. And there we go, that's kind of, that's a usable shot. Obviously you'd crop it for whatever you need to. Straighten it out a little bit, and that's pretty much the shot. So, if you're trying to create a preset, all you need to do, so if I'm happy with this preset, which is different to the base preset that we used from my pack, and I want to save this vibe, oh sorry, if I want to save this preset, you click plus, create preset, um, you can make a completely new group if you want, so um, my own presets. Wait. <laughs> um, you can create that group, call it whatever you want, Moody Banger. Then you can save all these. So, say for example, that's obviously the shot how it was taken, and I want to go to my own presets. You just go down here, Moody Banger. Bush. So, <laughs> so that's pretty much how it would go and then obviously from there you can kind of mess about with the settings you can kind of try something new go for that moody tone just completely mood it out just fully mood just you can't even see the car it's that mooder we'll go for that. and then once you've done obviously you can apply it to whatever you want different settings different pictures that's it, that's pretty simple really. So yeah, that's pretty much it, it's pretty straightforward. I'm gonna do the next video for how to do it on mobile, but if you do buy my presets, it comes with the videos to install it anyway, and I thought I might as well just make YouTube videos just to help people. So, that's it. Why are still watching? You can go now if you want. You can watch it to the end, but yeah, go out and shoot pictures, even if it's lockdown.
just go do it. I'm gonna go downstairs and train. <laughs> See you later. <laughs>